Good morning, French Road families! Happy Friday! Today is Friday, June 7th, and I am brought to you, you're brought here today with two students from Miss Colbert's fourth grade class and a student from Miss Jacqueline and Miss Dana's fourth grade class who are going to talk to us today about some awesome things that they did on their own in the classroom around helping others. So we'll hold off for them and then they'll share in a moment. We have field day coming up. It is Tuesday, June 18th. And we are looking for parent volunteers to help run the station. So um, if you are interested in doing that, reach out to our PE teachers and our classroom teachers. But there's a message in here with just some reminders about what time to arrive. Our first group going through is fifth grade and parent volunteers would come at 915, third grade by 1115 and fourth grade at 115. So that is just around the corner. The end of the year is coming close. You know when field day is here that we're getting close to the end. We have two concerts next week which I have had the pleasure of watching these kids practice in the morning and they sound phenomenal such growth from last time we saw them earlier in the fall so we have fourth grade band concert on June 12th at 7 p.m. and fourth grade strings concert on June 13th at 7 p.m. and fifth grade parents and families remember that our celebration is coming up on the 20th I left the flyer in there so you can see all the details we have our field trips coming up we got a lot of stuff going on there's also an important message for our fifth grade students who are heading to TCMS next year from the nurses over there so check that out in my newsletter today and now on to our kids so Lillian is in Mrs. Jacqueline and Miss Dana's class and she came up with a great idea for a fundraiser and Nate is in Miss Covert's class and he's going to share about that too these kind of sparked after our fourth grade student Nora Cummins led us in an assembly around inclusion which kind of brought some other kids around to thinking how they'd like to contribute to society, to our school, to, to other people, and I'm really proud of them, so we brought them here today to talk about their work. So, Nate, do you want to start us off? Sure. Um, so, I did a fundraiser, and it was really fun in the end because we got to count change about three times, including today. What made you want to do this fundraiser, and tell us what it was for? Um, so, why I wanted to do this fundraiser was because there is a disease out there called cystic fibrosis. You can't catch it or anything, it is genetic. And um, so Why is it important to you? Because I have this disease and it, it isn't nearly as bad for me, but for some other people that have it, it's really bad. So what did you do here at French Road? So I did a fundraiser and it was fun. It was called Penny Wars and Nate asked all three grade levels to bring in, as you probably know, parents and families, as much change as they can. And he counted it up this week with the help of Ms. Colbert's fourth grade class and share with us the results. How much money do we raise as a school? Together, we raised $645.96. That's pretty amazing. So almost $650 raised because of Nate's effort and all of the kids at French Road who contributed in Ms. Colbert's class for helping to count change and organize change. We appreciate them so much. That's pretty impressive. Thank you, Nate. And Lillian, tell us about your fundraiser. So I started this fundraiser, Nate. It was basically about helping the homeless. So, like, when I started wanting to do it, I like looked up this website with my friends, and it was called Sojourner Home, and it said that it needed some stuff so that people could live, um, survive there. So I talked to Dr. Rio, and we put boxes in the main office and library. So on the flyer that like some of the kids brought home is. It had some things you could bring in, like body wash, towels, socks, stuff like that. And we've been getting a lot of that. We have like six full bags of stuff, and it's just really amazing. We're going to change the date to do it by, to the 11th so that we can bring it to, to the Sojourner Home. It's just going to make it easier. And thank you for donating. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you parents and families for supporting our projects here through our kids at school and supporting that by sending in stuff for kids and sending in change and all of the things you do at home to make our school such a great place. Have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you next week.